Okie dokie. In this problem, we will be using the same process that we used in the 1.1.3D problems where we're given the table of the time and ln of the bacteria mass values. Because in this problem, we are given T values and ln of Y values, which they give us two points here um, corresponding to kind of like the two points they gave us in the table version of this problem. So same process will apply. We're finding the slope between these two points. So we will simply take y2, 1.191, and subtract it by y1, 0.435. And we will divide this by the change in x values, 3.9 minus 0.3. So let's open up Desmos and go ahead and calculate this. On top, we have 1.191 minus uh, 0 0.435. And on the bottom, we have 3.9 minus 0.3. And that gives us 0 0.21. So that's a positive 0 0.21. And what does this mean? This slope, this m value, should show up in our function in the exponent. So we have e to the 0.21t. And so that term should show up in our answer. So we look at these answer choices, and really the only one with that as a possibility is b. So we're looking for a positive 0.21, so that's why we can eliminate option C. So it looks like B is our answer, just like that. Um, but let's confirm the 1.45, or at least talk about how we would do that. So um, let's plug in a T value into the potential answer. So we'll plug in one of these T values here, or X values. So let's go ahead and plug in 3.9. And we're plugging in 3.9 into option B for T. So we have one point. 45e to the 0.21, and we're plugging in 3.9 for t. What we're going to do is calculate this. This will give us some y value, since we are finding the y function. And then once we have that, we're going to take the ln, the natural log, of whatever this value is, because this graph has ln of y values. In other words, we want to see if it matches the ln of y value here, or 1.191, corresponding to the t value 3.9. So without further ado, let's calculate 1.45. 1.45e raised to the 0.21 times 3.9. That gives us 3.29. If we round, so then we'll go ahead and throw this into the natural log, and we're finding the natural log of that value. Because what we just found was a y value. So we want to now find natural log of a y value. And that gives us approximately 1.19, which corresponds to the correct y value of this ordered pair. But that y value is actually an ln of y value since it's a point on this function. So because 1.19 matched this 1.19, that's how we confirm that b is in fact our answer. So feel free to check out the other example. I will work out for this one. And, and if you need even more of a breakdown, please visit the 1.13d videos as well.